Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your October 2018 channel of messages. Uh, this message won't resonate with everybody so please check your other signs and just pick out what fits in your life and what doesn't. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libras. So all right well I was meditating and focusing on your guys' sign. I kept seeing the number nine. Um, the number nine for you guys is all about um, being spiritually enlightened. You guys are going to have a very, very spiritual month. Um, the veil is at its thinnest, and you guys are becoming more and more spiritually connected, connected to source, your angels, um, just in a total different vibration spiritually. Um, it's also saying to, uh, focus on your life path. What are you meant to be doing? What are you, um, here for? What is your purpose? Uh, for a lot of you, it's in like service, um, humanitarian work, uh, charity work that those kind of things, that's where you are going to, um, excel at. For, yeah, for all of you, um, your ruling planet Venus, it's in retrograde, as most of you probably know, and um, it's highlighting things of what you love, um, what you value, your money, your your relationships, your family. Um, it's time to evaluate those. Uh, it's time to evaluate everything in your life and figure out what no longer serves you. Um yeah, it's going to um, allow you to clearly see who's there for you and who isn't. Um, also, don't start uh, long-term or commit to long-term relationships during this time because it kind of messes with your guys' energy a little bit. Uh, you think it's great and perfect now. And then after, when Venus goes back into retrograde, you're like, what was I thinking? So just to be cautious about that. Um other than that, I see you guys having it overall a really good month. Um, your guys' uh, sign has been through hell, um, especially the last couple months. But going back from a year, seven years, 20 years, I mean, for some of you, I mean, for real, you guys are ready to come out of this slump, ready to come out of this energy, this rut that you've been in. And... Um, and you're going to be able to achieve that by the end of October, beginning of November. Um, for some of you, there's somebody in, in your energy that they're hiding something. They're hiding some kind of truth from you. They're not telling you the whole story. Um, be cautious of this energy. This could be in a, a relationship, a committed relationship that you have with somebody. Um... Yeah, there, there's just something they're not telling you. Uh, could be with an Aquarius or a Gemini, a Leo, a Sagittarius. Yeah, um, it could be really any sign, really, because this, these are general messages. But those are the ones that I'm really seeing um, prominently. Um, you're, you're going to have to, I don't want to say like spine, you're going to have to dig up some of your own information or do a little investigating, not full out like stage nine clinger stalker, but, um, yeah, there's just something that's not right about this person. And you know it, you know who I'm talking to if I'm talking to you, um, because you have been, um, wondering about this for at least the last four months. Uh, from what I can see, this relationship was going great. It was, it was moving along at a steady pace. Then all of a sudden one day it, it like plateaued or be, came to a halt altogether. Um, and now you're wondering what the hell is going on and you feel like they're holding back. You feel like they're not giving you your all. They're hiding something. Those are you people that I'm talking to. Um, start digging a little because uh, there very well possibly could be somebody else in the picture. 
Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be, though. They could be hiding something. They're just hiding something. Something. Yeah. Enough about that. Uh, for some of you, somebody is bullying you into doing something that you don't want to do or, or doing things in a way that, that you don't like. Because you're avoiding confrontation, you don't want conflict. So you're just rolling with the punches. Um, they know that they can do this to you. They know that you're very passive. And um, you need to take a stand for what you want, for what you believe in, for how you want things to go. Um, or this person's going to continue to bully you. Um, and that's not something that you deserve. For some of you... Yeah, it's time just to own your own power to, uh, yeah, just to stand in your power, speak your truth. For some of you, it's time for you to ask yourself, what do I want out of this life? What do I want to make happen? What do I want to build? What do I want my life to be based on? What do I want people to remember me by? Um, you're going to find your life's purpose in the next three months. For a lot of you, at the end of October, it's going to come very clear to you what you're here to do, what you're destined to do. Make sure when you are asking Source what it is that I'm here for, what is it I'm supposed to be doing, um, when you then take whatever path you're driven to take, don't let your ego control it. Um, this has to come from a place of service, has to come to from a place of Everything I do is for the collective and myself, not everything I do is for myself and it might help the collective because the soul's purpose is you're here to make the world a better place. What am I going to contribute to make everyone else's life around me benefit myself included? Um, when you're driven by ego, it's not going to be successful. For some of you, I just got like a way heavy wave of emotions. Um, for some of you, you are breaking free of an emotional, destructive, emotional, abusive relationship. Um, you put up with this for years and it's taken you a lot of courage and a lot of strength to break free of this energy to... Um, come to realize that your soul, your heart deserves more than this. You're having the strength to leave this relationship by the last week of October. Um, you have control of your situation. Don't let them make you feel that you have to stay there because you're not worthy enough to have anybody else. Or I keep hearing nobody else is going to want you. This is like the words I'm hearing them say. Um, there's a whole world out there that would love to be with you. Um, yeah, it's time to break free from that person, that toxicity. For um, some of you, October 13th and the 24th are going to be amazing days for finances. Um, a windfall of money is coming into some for some of you. <clears throat> but for a large group of you, you're getting word of something that's going to allow your potential earning ability to skyrocket. This could be like a patent pen, a patent thing, or someone's I someone is approving your idea for something, something creative, and this is going to make you um, very abundant, very wealthy. Um, so that is major cause for celebration. That's amazing. That's awesome. And it's going to be successful. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody in your space that's very jealous of your success as far as your career goes. Um, you could be dealing with uh, people at work that you thought were your friends, like bad talking or talking bad about you, spreading rumors, that kind of thing. Be cautious of those who um, could possibly be doing that. For... Um, for some of you, you feel like you're constantly constantly being judged by your friends and your family for decisions you're making, for the way you're doing things. Continue to keep doing things your own way. 
Um, you're, you're doing what's right for you. And that's all that matters. Their opinion should not mean anything. They're going to see when you come to uh, success that, that you were right all along. For some of you, people are questioning why you're doing certain things. Um, once again, keep walking your path and don't let their naysay um, affect you because they're jealous of your success. They're jealous of your happiness. They're jealous of things that you have that, that they wish they did. Um, for some of you, October 18th is going to be a very big day. Very positive energy is coming in for you that day. Um, good news. You know, it's like, the universe is pushing you forward and it's, it's bringing you beautiful energy, um, which you guys so, so deserve. Um, I cannot, I cannot, um, begin to even, um, wrap my head around some of the things that you guys have been through. So keep standing strong. I know all you want to do is give up and quit the fight, but you're so close to beautiful things coming in. You're so close to reaching that, that next, uh, stage. So keep going. Um, some of you, you need a break. You need to take a trip. You need a vacation. You need to get the hell out of here. Um, if that's you take the break that's needed, um, because you guys deserve it. For some of you, uh, you're dealing with, it looks like an Aquarius or a fire sign or yeah, just fire sign. Well, Leo, Sagittarius and Aquarius is what I'm seeing right now. They hurt you really bad. Um, and you're dealing with the hurt of that, the, the pain of that. It will get easier. Um, just don't uh, seclude yourself too much. Um, continue to get out there and get human interaction. Because for some of you, if you don't, depression um, could set in and and nobody wants that. Um for some of you, you're dealing with a very stressful situation, um, a very serious legal matter that you are going to court for. This could be a divorce, um, some sort of legal issue. It is going to turn out in your favor. It's going to be a very uh, fair, balanced decision. Um, yeah. So try not to let that anxiety get the best of you. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody uh, that you're in a relationship with that it was hot and passionate and 100% going forward. And now all of a sudden, it's like they are distant. They are pulled back. They are, um, it's just almost altogether stopped. There is nobody else. You're fearing there's somebody else. That isn't the case with this person or these people. They fear commitment. Um, they fear being hurt. They grew up in a family that um, they watched their parents go through numerous relationships. Uh, they've had a couple relationships themselves that have failed. They care deeply for you and they're scared to lose you. They're scared that you will hurt them. So in their defense, they push you away first. Um, they are going to pick back up, uh, where they left off as far as moving forward, but you kind of got to give them time and show them that you're not going anywhere. No matter how hard it gets, um, you will still be there and this will calm their fears of this commitment, um, issue that they deal, they're dealing with. Um, it's going to take probably, um, into December before they're really, raring to go again. Um, but yeah, you guys will come into a commitment 
uh, before the end of the year, um, this will go to the next level. For some of you, you have been dealing with in the past a very immature, deceitful, egotistical energy. Uh, they're going to come back towards the end of October wanting um, your forgiveness, wanting a second chance. Be very cautious if you decide to give this person a second chance because they're very immature, egotistical, and deceitful. Um, they have a lot of growing up to do before they can be in a grown-up relationship. They may be 40 years old, but they act like a 15-year-old. Um, you deserve something and someone that is equally wanting out of life what you want. Um, they equally give what you give. You guys have the same goals, the same same finish line that you guys are both trying to get to together. Um, this person has a, has a, a lot of growing up to do. We'll leave it at that. For some of you... For some of you, someone in your energy is is really battling an addiction. I see a lot of drinking. I see possible drug use. Um, this even could be your child, like a, a teenager, um, early 20s at, at most. Um, if this is your child, if this is a partner you're dealing with, uh, that's a different age group. But if you're dealing with a child... Um, they're in need of some help. So um, don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about your kid being mad at you. Um, getting them help needs to be uh, needs to be a priority as well as uh, well, I do see them getting help, but you're kind of dragging your feet because you're scared. It's gonna be okay. There could also be um, some psychological, um, things that they will also find while this person is in, uh, like a treatment program, they're gonna, they're going to come out a lot better than what they went in. So don't hold back. If this is, uh, messages for you, don't hold back on getting them any help that they need. It's going to be hard. They're going to be pissed, but when it's all said and done, it'll be okay. Um, some of you are dealing with a karmic partner that hurt you. Yeah. And you're kind of wondering, you know, what in the hell? I don't get it. You know, like you're just, I just feel like I don't get it. This karmic was, uh, came into your life and it set into a chain of, it set in motion, a chain of events. These chain of events are going to bring you to where you need to be. And when you get to the point where you see now why it all had to happen, you see now each chain of event that led to the next one and understand why this had to happen in your life, then you're where you need to be. Uh, that is when you know you made it. You're now on the right path. You're now in the right direction. Walking towards everything that I'm meant to have. Um, yeah, for some of you, um, you have love coming in towards the end of October, beginning of November. Um, these are beautiful souls. They are, I see every sign, so I really can't, um, pin it down to a certain sign because they're all in there. Uh, this person is going to be very good for you. They are going to help you heal in a way that you didn't know you were broken, that you needed healing from. And it's just going to be a great friend. Some of you are getting them in the receipt in the, okay, let me start that over. Some of you are meeting them through mutual friends. Some of you are meeting them online, but these are new people coming into your life and they're going to be very, very nourishing for your soul. For some of you, you're dealing with a water sign in your life, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Um, this is, this is an amazing love. This is a twin flame, um, that is returning to you. You guys are not returning to you, but is reaching out to you. You guys have not been in contact with each other for a couple, well, for months, some of you years, um, they are returning to you. Uh, they will be coming back later on towards the end of the year, but they are reaching out to you. They are going to open back up that line of communication for you. And, um, it's going to now start moving in a more, uh, momentum is picking up in that direction. They're going to be moving forward a lot quicker. Um, for a lot of you, you've been down a rough road. Your heart has been broken. Um, you've been through breakups, divorces, um, things are going to start to get better. <clears throat> yeah, it's just felt like hell for you guys. But, you know, out of the fire of hell comes a rebirth and the phoenix, you know, build yourself back up from the ground, from the ashes. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. Um, November is going to be a huge healing month for you in an amazing way. Um, you guys are going to become more spiritually enlightened this month. Uh, you're going to be able to communicate with past loved ones. You're going to be able to see your angels, hear your angels. Um, yeah, everything is changing for you guys spiritually. Um, yeah. So, you know, the rest of the month, just take a breather. Um, because November is going to be very spiritually packed as well. And by 2019, that's your guys's year. Libra is going to have an amazing 2019. Right now you feel dis disconnected. You feel disconnected from yourself, from your friends, your family, the world. You just feel not tuned in because every time you tune in, you feel hurt and pain and experience lies and deceit and, and you've just had enough. That's all going to turn around. That's all going to change. Um, yeah. Yeah. You guys are, you guys are realizing that in order to, um, to get what I want to reach my goals, to break free from any toxicity. I need to choose me first. I need to be me. I need to stand up for myself. I need to go after what I want and worry about what I need. Um, and that is when things are going to start turning around for you. You guys give a lot. You want to be everyone's friend. You want to help. You want everything to be fair and just. And um, at the end of the day, you're the one that's getting cheated. You're the one that's getting uh, not used, but you know, your goodness is taken for granted. And, um, and a lot of times you don't have anybody back or you don't have anybody to give that back to you. So, um, it's time to be selfish. It's time to be, uh, focusing on you. It's time to enjoy yourself, um, pamper yourself, decide what you want, uh, write your goals, write your dreams and, and begin to manifest that for yourself. Um, yeah, you guys, yeah, you guys are going to start to see such a turnaround, um, by Halloween. It's really going to, it's not going to be fast. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be at the snap of the fingers. It's going to take time. Um, but you're really going to see and feel the shift in energy. It's just, it, it, Everything is changing for you guys. Everything. Um, don't be overwhelmed by responsibility. Take you time. Take time for yourself. Um, be patient with yourself. Be patient with the universe. You know, ask yourself, what do I want? What's going to make me happy? What is my purpose? 
Those are the three questions you need to ask yourself and write down the answers. And then once you have the answers, take each one of those answers and write out how you're going to manifest that. Write out exactly what you want. Include the details. Um, and then on the full moon, give it up to the universe. Hand it over and, um, and let go of the outcome and be ready for huge changes. Uh, for some of you, you're receiving the justice you deserve. You are truly and honestly getting in the blessings that you so definitely have deserved. Um, you are going to have a lot of supportive people around you. You're going to have um, the love and the backing that you need to to do what it is that you want. For some of you, you have a big announcement that is going to be made on the 31st. This is going to bring excitement and celebration. It's, it's going to make you very, very happy. Um, for some of you dealing with the soulmate twin flame journey, um, your, your people, your partners, they are so close. Um, they really are. I don't see them coming in this month. Um, there are, there are a, um, a lot of them coming back in November and December though, by the end of the year, um, because you guys are still in that healing, healing phase and as are they. So continue on with a good work. Um, I know life has been a draining. It's been a strain. It's been difficult, but you are about to the crest of the hill and um, going to be sliding down it here very, very soon. Um, some of you are starting a new business. This will be very successful, uh, especially if it's like an online business. I see you're like based out of your home. Um, very, very much success is being found by you. Also, um, your spiritual gifts. For those of you, I just got itchy Ellison. For those of you who um, are intuitive or are mediums, um, start working on your gift because it's going to become very, very strong by the end of October. Um, you're going to be able to hear, feel, and see the spiritual realm, which is very exciting. I just did Pisces as well, and, and they got that same message. Um, the collective as a whole is going to be awakened in a, in a very amazing way. And Libras, a lot of you are going to be experiencing that, uh, the 27th, 28th around there. Um, you guys will have a download that, um, you will receive in your sleep. Make sure you're getting plenty of rest. Um, like I said, around the 18th, you're going to have a positive, amazing energy that is going to be occupying your space that day. It's just going to really lift your spirits, um, turn you in the in a more positive direction, and give you hope for something coming in for you. Um, don't lose faith because uh, what is meant for you is coming for you. Um, even though it, it feels like it's not in sight right now, it's going to happen so fast. Um, you just have to be a little more patient, but really take the month to enjoy the spiritual realm. Um, they are close. They are by you. They are near for some of you. I'm getting a lot of you have, um, deceased mothers, uh, that ha are coming in, um, that are by you around you. You know, this, you can feel them. Um, Yeah, there is a very, um, very distinguished uh, male. He's saying 2010. He passed away in 2010. Um, yeah, I believe he passed away from cancer. Yeah, he is very prominent. Um, he is around you. This, this is a daughter. Uh, yeah, he he's around you every day. He is an angel of yours. Um, he said he's very proud of you. And go after your dream. You could possibly have a dream of starting a business. 
I'm not quite sure what that means that he's showing me. Um, but he's very proud of you and he loves you. Um, yes, 2010, he's saying 2010. Uh, yeah. For, oh my goodness, I have like a flood of, <laughs> of messages now for people out there. That one brought me tears though. Um, for another person, um, this energy is very strong. He's actually been here the whole time and I've been, you know, trying to, uh, not channel in, uh, individuals, but there is one, this is a spouse. Um, you lost this person. 2012, I believe. 2010 to he's saying 2010 2012 this is a spouse um you're remarried see my face is just so itchy <laughs> either you're a virgo or he's a virgo Yeah. Um, he also passed away of cancer. 2010. Okay, 2010, he also passed away. Um, you're remarried. He's happy for you. Don't feel guilty. You married a Virgo. He says he's happy for you. Um, you felt guilty for moving on, for moving forward, and there is no reason to feel guilty. So, okay, I got to stop those messages or they're going to keep coming in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed your messages. Um, Libra, it's going to get better, I promise. Um, just don't give up faith or don't give up hope. Uh, we're given these tests. We're given these challenges. Um to help us and you guys are going to get to a point of your journey where you're going to realize why all this happened and it's going to become clearer um it it sucks right now but um it is going to get better so have faith in the in source in the universe and uh be ready for november because it's going to be a big month enjoy the spiritual realm that's all around you. Enjoy Halloween. It's going to be the thinnest, uh, the veil between the two realms have been in forever. So enjoy that. You're going to be able to reach out and connect to loved ones if that is something you want. Also, your loved ones are um, leaving you little hints that they're around you as well. So be uh, paying attention to those. If you're seeing the number 333, I keep seeing that as well. That is a sign that your loved one is near. Um, so enjoy those messages. Um, just be noticing your surroundings and what's going on. And, uh, they're going to show themselves this month. For those of you who are open to seeing and communicating with them, you'll know they're there. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you, Libras. I hope you enjoyed your messages. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.